Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about every month of the year, the pros and the cons for each month. So that can help you determine when you want to come here to visit or maybe even the month you want to move here so you can have the best weather for whatever it is you're looking to do here in Thailand. Now, a couple of things to take into consideration is Thailand's big. You've got far north and far south and everything in between. You've got the mountains of Chiang, Chiang Mai area, and you've got the beaches down there at Koh Samui or Phuket. So again, things are gonna fluctuate depending on what part of Thailand you are in. So we're gonna talk about averages. So let's start with the month of January. January is a relatively cool month Thailand speaking, it's not as hot as the hot season. So it is a good month to be here in the month of January. There will still be some rain, which is very nice. Not a whole lot of rain, just a little bit of rain. And you're also going to have some festivals that'll happen here. New Year's, of course, is gonna bring a lot of tourists here that wanna celebrate the new year here in Thailand. So just keep in mind, if you're looking for the cheapest time of year, this would not be it because there's still plenty of tourists here in Thailand. It is right before the smoky season starts. So you are getting nice, beautiful, clear skies. You should have good weather at the beach if that's where you're gonna be. If you're going up in the mountains, you should have nice weather there as well. And it will be a little bit cold in the mornings. That's if you're in the mountains. So keep that in mind, especially if it rains a little bit in the morning and then you start riding around on a motorcycle, really cold. The average temperature for January is 77 degrees. So you could see why this would be a good time to be in Thailand. All right, February. February is a decent time. This is, this is a time when the weather starts changing a little bit. It's dry. Okay, there's a change. The smoky season's going to start there. It may or may not, uh, it could start in February. If it does, that means we're gonna have one heck of a smoky season. But like this year, 2023, the smoky season started in January, which was unusual. But February, you're gonna start to see the skies turn a little bit gray, not as much of the blue sky here. The temperature starting to increase. The average temperature is 84 degrees. So it is starting to get warmer in the month of February. It can be a little bit crowded in the month of February. Why? The Chinese New Year. So you will have a lot of tourists here from China and there are a lot of festivities and there's big celebrations for Chinese New Year. So that may be a plus for you or a con depending on how you're looking at it. Now it is a dry and mild weather. So if that's what you're looking for, this would be one of your favorite months of the year here in Thailand. Now we have the dreaded month of March. Why is it the dreaded month of March? March is one of the smokiest times of year. If I was going to tell you to avoid Thailand, if you had to pick one month, it might be March. Now that isn't for the whole country of Thailand. The smoky season covers, oh, I would say about 90% of Thailand from Chiang Mai all the way up north, all the way down to Bangkok and some surrounding areas, even a little bit below that. Your safe zones are going to be your islands like Phuket, Koh Samui. Those are gonna be a lot better to live in during the smoky season. Or you may wanna take that month if you're living here to go back to wherever you came from to visit your family and friends. Or hey, let's say you're living in a smoky region and you wanna get out of it for a month. Maybe go to, uh, to one of the islands if you don't live there already and get yourself a little change of scenery and get away from the smoke. Now it is extremely hot in March also, so that's kind of another negative. So it's the average temperature is around 91 degrees and it can get very, it can go very much north of that number. It can get very, very hot here in the month of March. Kind of a miserable month all the way around here in Thailand, unfortunately. Now, one of the pluses is that because it's kind of a miserable month, there's less tours. And that means that the prices for, let's say the hotels and other tourist type things, it comes down, this is the low season. So you can get a lot of good deals on accommodations all throughout Thailand. But then again, you gotta think, do I really wanna breathe in the bad smoke and be in the hot weather just to save some money on a hotel? So I do have a shameless plug. 
I don't normally have shameless plugs, but I wanted to tell you about something. I don't know if you've noticed here lately, but I've been wearing these shirts whenever I do the videos. For one, I don't have a whole lot of shirts and I always get confused on what shirt I should wear for the videos. So Kendall and I decided to design some shirts, which, which we did. And as you can see, it's got the narrow gate symbol at the top where Chiang Mai is. It has a map of Thailand. And at the top, it says Chiang Mai. At the bottom, it says Thailand probably can't see that part so I'm gonna hold up one of the shirts here so you can see the whole thing and they do come in different colors meaning the shirts themselves come in different colors also we have different color maps of Thailand anyway if some of you in the US should be able to see a display right below this video actually and if you don't see it just go in our description and look down and look for our online store click on there there's shirts there's hoodies there's coffee cups there's water mugs all of them have the symbol on there kind of fun just to look at everything Full disclosure, we make about on the shirts about four to six dollars, depending on whether you buy a hoodie or you bought a shirt. So that's how much we're making off of it. Thank you for your continued support of our channel. Okay, that's gonna bring us to the month of April. April's gonna be your hot month. Hot, hot, hot. Average temperature is about 97 degrees, and it's smoky still. It's debatable whether you want to say April's the most smoky or is it March. It really just depends on the year. But for the most part, it's pretty comparable to March. So again, it's kind of miserable. Now, the thing is, is yes, it's hot. It's smoky. No rain, really. I mean, there may be some rain if you're, if you're fortunate enough. But like this last April, we, I don't think we had any rain in April. But anyway... There's also a high season here for tourists just for a little bit. Why is that, you may ask? Because April is the month of Songkran, which is a big festival here in Thailand, the water festival, which is a good time for a water festival since it's so hot and smoky anyway. But Songkran every year brings in tons of foreigners here, so you will have a lot of tourists, and the prices on hotels and everything will spike up for probably three, the three week time period, a week before Songkran, the week of Songkran, and the week after Songkran. And then the prices go back down, uh, down, way down again, because again, it's hot and it's miserable in the month of April. That being said, you gotta look, if you're in one of the islands, Koh Samui, Phuket, something like that, this may be a great time of year for you because you don't have to worry about the smoke, it is hot. But do you care if you're by the pool? Something to consider. The month of May, which happens to be the month that I'm doing this video at right now. So the month of May, what's it like? Well, let's take a look around. It's still hot, but it's not as hot as it was the previous month. The smoke is going away. For the most part, it is gone. So the, the smoke and the air is getting better. It's not the bluest of skies. It's almost the bluest of skies that you're going to see. All that residual smoke is still kind of dissipating and going away. It's starting to rain again, which is very nice because by this time, the grass is brown, everything's kind of brown and dull, and all the leaves have you know dirt, dust all over them. And that rain comes, washes everything away, all the dirt and debris, makes everything green and lush and it starts getting beautiful. So this is like your transition month from what I'm gonna call ugly to pretty. Now it is the start of the monsoon season, which, you know, depending on where you're at in Thailand may not be a big deal. If you're right on the coast or on an island, could be a big deal. But anyway, that is the start of the monsoon season and I know we just had one go by just two weeks ago. So it's definitely monsoon season. Well, that takes us into the month of June. Now, the nice thing about June is that it's warm. It's about 90 degrees on average. You're saying, what's so great about that? Well, there's rain and occasional rain. So it's not super rainy. You just get occasional rain. And yes, if you're thinking, well, that's a perfect combination for high humidity. Yes, it is. So that's a very humid month. If humid's your thing, then this is that, you know, that particular month is the month for you, but it is going to be humid at that time, but everything's going to be beautiful. You know, there's pros and cons to everything. So when you go in out in nature here, you're going to see the best of the best. Everything's had plenty of rain by now. Smoke's all gone. You got the blue skies. Yeah, it's still hot. Yeah, you're sweating to death because it's humid. 
but it's beautiful. It's worth it. And that also means that now the waterfalls have enough water. You know, the rain falling increases the waterfalls. They're beautiful now. So if you're doing anything like kayaking or riding anywhere, doing anything with water, it should be a good time of year for you to visit. However, there's one more con. If you're in one of the islands in the month of June, just keep in mind that this is when there's a lot of rough and choppy water. Not a big deal for most of you, I'm sure, but if you're doing something specific that requires you to be in the ocean, out on a boat, this is a choppy time of year to be out there. All right, now we're on to July. July is a month where there's really nothing major going on. You've got rain, coming periodically. It's still hot. The average temperature is about 88 degrees Fahrenheit in the month of July. So what you're looking at there is pretty much stable conditions. A little bit of rain. It's a little, it's hot, but not too hot. And it, everything's beautiful. I mean, you can just rest assured that anything nature wise you're going to see here in the month of July is absolutely beautiful. All around a good month. If you're looking for no rain whatsoever, that probably isn't the month for you. But other than that, not a bad time to get here. Some people will say I'm crazy because of the rain, but look, it's, it's going to rain and then it goes away and it may not come back for another couple of days. Then it rains. It's a nice getaway from the heat. And you know, there's nothing in my opinion. I love sitting out and eating outside, you know, where it's covered and watching a good rainfall when I eat, or maybe even taking a nap. Uh, while it's raining. It's wonderful. Get yourself a massage while it's raining. You want to talk about tranquility as you hear the rain coming down on those metal roofs as you're getting a massage. Fantastic. So August. August is going to be a halfway decent month to get here to Thailand. The average temperature is 88 degrees and it's still considered the off season. So you can get good rates on accommodations throughout Thailand. So it is a good time to come. You're going to have rain. It's not overwhelming, but I mean, you'll probably have rain every other day on average. Now watch, you'll get here to rain every day. That could happen just so you know, but there is rain. It usually doesn't last all day. You do get gorgeous skies because of all the drama going on in the sky with all of the storms. So it's a pretty time to be here again. And everything is lush and green and beautiful. Just know this is considered one of the rainiest times of year of the year. If you're planning on going out in the jungle or anything, keep in mind that it's going to be very rainy and slippery. So if you're coming here for some off-roading motorcycle excursion, could be cool if that's what you're looking to do. But if you don't want to deal with the mud, that's probably not going to be the month for you. Okay, the month of September. September is going to have rain, an increased amount. So now you're looking at rain maybe every other day, possibly every day. Not all day, but it's going to be rainy and muddy. The prices will still be low because this isn't the big time for tourists to be here. And now we're getting into some potential flooding in some areas of Thailand. I know in my neighborhood, it's going to flood. If you don't believe me, just look at past videos for that month. And this year, I'm sure I'll have more flood videos to show you where it floods really quick. Average temperature is 88 degrees at this time of year. So it's not too hot, not too cold. So you don't have to worry about the temperature as much. Okay, we're in the month of October. October, the average temperature is about 86 degrees. This is one of those months you got to take in half. Half, the first half of October, you're still going to have the rain. And by this point, if you're living here, you're ready for the rain to be done. You're sick of it. So the rain starts tapering off. And when you get to the middle of October, usually, the rain is tapering off a good bit, so it's not as rainy whatsoever. The temperature is very nice this time of year. You're looking at, again, uh, 86 degrees being the common temperature on an average day here. It's a pleasant time to be here. The end of October, I would definitely say, is a peak time to be here in Thailand. So keep October in mind if you're wanting to come here to Thailand and you only have a few weeks to be here. November. Okay, now we're at the, I'm going to assume, the top, top for tourists. Why? Because the weather's fantastic. The rainy season's now over. It's not super dry because we've had all that rain, so everything's still beautiful. The con to this is that everybody knows it, so you're going to end up spending more money here because all the tourists are here at the same time, at least the bulk of them. 
because this is an excellent time to be here, but you will pay for it in dollars because, or bought in this case, because it is a more expensive time of year. The average temperature is 82 degrees. And just to throw something else in the mix, this is when the Loy Croton Festival is, the Lantern Festival. So this is when a lot of tourists are here, not only for the weather, but they're here for the festival. So if you do plan on coming in November, it's an awesome time. It's an expensive time, but it really isn't if you're comparing it to the prices of everything in your home country. But if you're talking about Thailand prices, yes, they're a little bit higher in that month, but well worth it. And that brings us to December. December is pretty much like November. It's a great time to be here. You're still gonna have those crowds. And believe it or not, there's a lot of people who come here during the holiday season, the Christmas season, uh, for whatever reason. And there's plenty of Christmas decorations in Thailand, believe it or not. You'll go into a store like a 7-Eleven and they'll be playing Christmas music. Very odd, I know, but it really does happen here. December is my wife's favorite time of year. She just says everything's just right then. It's uh, cool in the morning, you know, a little warm during the day, just a little warm. It's not too bad whatsoever. Very nice time. The average temperature is 77 degrees, which is probably why my wife loves it so much because, you know, when it's, you're in a hot environment and you get to 77 as a high, it feels really nice and cool. Well, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you feel so inclined, buy us a coffee. There's a link in the description. We'd really appreciate it. Also down below, you'll see a thanks button if you want to contribute to the channel that way. Join us on Patreon if you want to donate on a monthly basis. And also, if you like this video, please give it a like. Okay, I do have a couple of shout outs I would like to do. So first of all, on Buy Me A Coffee, and this is a an email name because it was anonymous so hopefully you know who you are it says colin kale 12. so thank you colin kale 12. thank you for supporting the channel we really do appreciate it the other one is on patreon and this is gurin w sorry if i butchered your name but thank you gurin w we really appreciate you supporting us on patreon thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out our online shop for the shirts if it's something you want to look at. And until next time, Kapkun Kap.